Hello everybody, once again we're back to you, coming at you live and in living color from the shores of Waikiki Beach, right here on the island of Oahu in Hawaii. We're here today for the Hawaiian Islands Bodybuilding Championships that goes on every year, right around late June, early July, and I'll tell you one of the hottest shows in all of America. But today we're here with a living legend, the guy I like to call Arnold Schwarzenegger's stepdad. He doesn't <laughs> need to have anybody else attached to him. None other than Mitz Kawashima. Hello, Mitz. How you doing? Oh, I'm doing Glad fine. To always have you aboard. And want to thank first of all Mitz for having me aboard. Brought me here to Hawaii a few years back, about five years ago, uh, to be specific. And since that time, man, been back every year having a great time. And it's been my pleasure to be able to emcee his bodybuilding show. Mitz, I'll tell you what. You're gonna drop out. This is gonna be kind of the last year of your involvement here in the Hawaiian Islands. Yes. Yeah. And uh, tell us a little bit about how you and Arnold met, man. We want to start from the beginning on that one. You know, the way we met was very funny. Uh, in fact, I actually forgot what happened. But uh, he was introduced to me at uh, Benton's gym. Mm -hmm. And he was working out over there. And then uh, this guy named Brendan Ryan, who lives here now, is married to a local girl. Uh, he told Brendan to look me up when he came to Hawaii. So he came to my gym. I had a gym at that time. And then that's how we started connecting closely. And every contest, that Arnold threw, we try to go and see, and also all the other stars like Linda Murray, you know, Miss Olympia, and the Corey Everson, they're all good friends of ours. And uh, that's how we got the connection through bodybuilding. You know, you make a lot of good friends in bodybuilding. There's so many guys, you'd be surprised, their character is so fantastic and very nice and friendly, you know? And it makes you more want to learn more about how their future is and how they began uh, bodybuilding. You know, bodybuilding is a, a lot of people got the misconception that it's just muscles and all that, but that's not true. Mm -hmm. You have other things to consider now, your future. Now look at Arnold, what he did with his bodybuilding. He swore that he's going to be the best bodybuilder in the world. He was. Mr. Olympia, what, six times, and he rested two years, and he went the seventh time, and he won it again. But you see, he's an exceptional character. Mm -hmm. uh, he's a very smart guy, very nice, very humble, and, uh, you know, very, very, very friendly to everybody. Little kid will come up to him, talk to him, say, Hey Arnold, and he'll say, Oh, how are you? You know that old German accent? <laughs> <laughs> you know? uh -huh. you know? and, and the guy is so friendly to everybody. And he, recently he came to visit my wife, who recently passed away. And uh, he and Franco came over on, on, on Friday. And probably directly from the airport, he went to the hospital. And the first thing he did was, my wife was lying in bed in the hospital. He tells her, Hey, Dot. Get out of bed, we're going to exercise and walk. Imagine that. So he and Franco took my wife and took her out of the bed and they went down the hallway. And the amazing thing about Arnold, he talked to every nurse in there. He grabbed their arm and said, come on, let's take a picture. Now, how many governors would do that? Correct. You would never see people like so friendly, so humble, you know. And uh, I really admired him for that. And to this day, when I go to the hospital, they keep talking about, oh, Arnold, is so nice, so pleasant, you know. And that doesn't... That's one thing I like about Arnold, he's a human being. He's a human being. Yeah. And I'll tell you, Mitz and Arnold have probably one of the most special relationships you'll ever see on Earth. As you know, Arnold's the governor of California, and you have to have an appointment to see Arnold. Not this guy. That tells you how special <laughs> he is. I actually see, saw Mitz uh, the first night we got here, I think it was Thursday or Friday. It was actually Thursday. I see Mitz at dinner. We were out downtown here in Waikiki eating dinner on a strip at the top of Waikiki, in fact. Mitch had on a beautiful coat, Republic of California, all that good stuff. And I asked him, I said, did Arnold give you that jacket? Of course, he opens it up. It said, made especially for Mitch Kawashima. <laughs> Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger's name on it. So that tells you the relationship they have. I mean, Mitz is so special to Arnold, it is unbelievable, and vice versa. Arnold is just as special to Mitz as well. And uh, by the way, Mitz's lovely wife, Dot, who just passed away a week after we're shooting this currently, Arnold gave the eulogy, and I heard it was a beautiful eulogy at, her, at the funeral as well, Mitch. So I just wanted to, of course, yeah. give you my condolences on that. Thank you. Um, Thank Miss you. history of bodybuilding, man. You go so far back. For those of you youngsters out there who don't understand bodybuilding, Mitz has spanned the generations from guys from way back, from Larry Scott, Sergio Oliva, and some names you, I'm sure you guys don't even know who I'm talking about. Well, they're the guys who laid the foregrounds for you. They're the forefathers of this sport, so learn some history. Do yourself a favor. Miss, tell us a little bit about the history of bodybuilding. How did you get started? Who are some of the stars that impressed you? Well, I'll tell you. I, uh, John Grimmick was one of the greatest bodybuilders I've ever John met. John Grimmick. Yes. Uh -huh. he, he was a great guy. He's not only muscle, but a person as a person. I respect the person for being nice and kind and humble. And uh, I learned a lot from him. 
But uh, I started the gym here in 19, uh, when was that, 1948. And I came over here from the States to do that. And uh, at that time, bodybuilding was such that everybody poo-pooed it because they thought it was all just muscle heads, you know, walking around and showing off. It's not true. It's to build, the well, number one reason why we do this is to build your health. Number two is, of course, to feel confident. I have had a lot of people come in the gym and they were little pipsqueaks. All of a sudden, six months later, they're jabbing and talking to everybody, laughing away. Well, that's what I like to see. You know, the outward personality comes out. You know, and a lot of the people, you'd be surprised, are very in like a little uh, uh, seed, you know. They, they just don't have the personality to come out and uh, deal with people. But after a few months at the gym, oh, heck, they're the loudest in the gym. <laughs>